there's a few things that the Maya predicted would happen in 2012. Um, there's one, just one inscription that says that on December 21st, 2012, Bolognokte, who's a, a minor god whose name means nine house posts, which translates as a big house, a palace, Bolognokte will put on a costume. And it stops there. It doesn't come back to the present, the then present, it was written in 769 AD, and it simply tells us this one event that they expect to happen in 2012. And the event is a minor god is gonna put on a costume. Of course, what that means is, when someone put on a costume, they were channeling, they were connecting to the gods. And so Bologna Octay, a minor god, is gonna to connect to the higher gods, whose names they don't mention. Um, and it's the only prediction. It doesn't say it's good, it doesn't say it's bad. We do know that Bologna Octay is a, is a god associated with uh, death and war. Um, but he's also associated with creation. He was present at the last creation, one of a dozen gods whom we have named as present at the last creation. And that's the one ancient Maya prediction we have. There are other, the, the reason that the 2012 date is so important to most, what should I say, to scholars as well as to uh, the, the, the general public is that the date that 2012 falls on in the Maya long count calendar is a round number, 13, zero, 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 zero. Zero days, zero months, zero years, zero katans, zero, which is 20 years, and zero bak and 13 baktans. That's the date that 5,126 years ago was the creation date. Many people, particularly scholars, um, believe that the Maya felt that 13, zero, 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 zero would have been an important date at least as an anniversary of creation, if not a recreation. Um, there's no real consensus on whether that date meant that time would stop and start again, or I, I shouldn't say time would stop, that the calendar would stop and start again like a, like a clock does at midnight. I myself think that I haven't found any evidence that anyone believed that the calendar would restart. Um, I found evidence that they, of the opposite, that they, the time would continue go up to 14 and go up to 15. And those two things, that the calendar date of 2012 and the Maya calendar matches the creation date, therefore the Maya must have believed that it would be a recreation because they believed in cycles. And that one inscription mentions 2012. Um, those two things combine with the popular idea of apocalypticism, which I think our culture generates a, a new end of the world every couple of months. Um, the last big one, of course, was Y2K. We all know how apocalyptic that day was. But we love round numbers, and round numbers, even the Bible talks about the millennium. And the, the millennium means every thousand years, and that means years ending at zero are important. And it's a, it seems to have been metaphorical. Um, and so, I don't think we need to head for the hills in 2012. Um, the galactic alignment is, is an, is a, means that the sun is between the Earth and the plane of the galaxy, the, the axis of the galaxy, if you want to call it that, which happens twice a year. The sun moves around the sky one degree a day, and uh, in June it lines up with one side of the galaxy, and in December it lines up with the other side. And it's been doing that since the sun and the galaxy condensed out of interstellar dust.